How you doing there, guys? It's Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel. This is the same ride. In fact, it was the first and only time so far that I've ridden the Husky on the new Kreft Moto uh, suspension when they did the revalve control and everything on this setup. It's the first and only time I've been able to ride it. To give you a little bit of a peek be behind the curtains, here in Utah, uh, especially if we have a hard winter, it's really hard for me to ride, and I have to go down to southern Utah, you know, near St. George area, uh, where this is, you know, near St. George. Um, to do any riding and we've had a lot of snow up where I live which is a lot closer to Salt Lake City and so it's been hard to get out um, and so what happens is in the winter time you guys end up seeing a lot more of my ride so if I go out for a full day like we were out for about seven hours this day you know I'll put out four or five or six videos from it whereas usually you would only get like one video in, in the summer time if i'm out for six or seven hours you might get one video maybe two you know and and here you'll get maybe as many as you know eight or nine videos off of one single day because i just don't have as much of the current content and I like i like to keep the content as current as possible i i always have content that i don't use throughout the summer um but I just feel bad about uploading, you know, content that's like eight, nine months old or a year old. Um, just, I don't know. I just do. So anyway, we're leaving the, we're leaving the canyon here. We went up to the end of this canyon. It turned into a box canyon we couldn't get out of. And now we're taking the left fork or the right fork, depending on which, which, which way you look at it. We're taking that back up out of the canyon um, to make our way back to the truck. Because people are starting to get, you know, low on fuel. We've been out for a long time. We're going to have to make it, make our way back to the trucks, at least start heading that direction. So now I've got the bike set in a, kind of a middle of the road position between the two baselines that they gave me. And I'm finding more of a sweet spot here. Which I guess shouldn't be surprising so it's taken a little bit of tinkering and that tinkering is by no means a bad thing anytime you make changes to your suspension you need to spend some time kind of moving some clickers around and trying to find a happy place with it so no problems there I was just saying I've got to get it dialed in but now I feel like I've got it in a position that is pretty good all around. It's amazing how much just a couple of clicks on the revalve control will do. And I think that's pretty much uh, the big thing that I've noticed about this Kreft uh, revalve control suspension setup is that it is very, very adjustable. The stuff that I got done uh, from Moto Experts, uh, the race tech stuff was also very, very good. I'm not sure I like one better than the other, but I would say that is it is much easier to make big sweeping changes here with the uh, revalve control. Now, that's not necessarily to say that like that's a huge, huge selling point because once you get your suspension in a place that you like it, I'm not the guy that likes to be clicking around all day long and changing it all the time, but it is nice to be able to, you know, go a few clicks and go from like, super plush stuff to like the more high speed stuff in 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 a quick fashion it's pretty rocky and for the most part this suspension is just floating through it without deflecting which is what just what I want Right? So I want to show you guys what happens to my riding when I'm working off of about three hours sleep, I drive four hours to get here, and then I ride my dirt bike for about five and a half hours uh, to get to this point on only one meal of the day. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm also proud to report that I didn't swear there. I didn't have to beep anything out. You know, it's funny. And I didn't even break a lever. Like, I haven't broken a lever on one of these bikes for a long, long time, even though I don't use the full wrap guards. I've got my levers set in enough away from the handlebars, and then also I've got them so that they can move, they can twist, uh, and that really, really helps. <laughs> I just did that for show. That was a good fish.